Hi, I'm Meredith Hodges, and welcome to the Lucky Three Ranch Training Tips. The next lessons will take place at the workstation. Go through your usual grooming and saddling routine. Ask your equine to stand quietly while you grasp the saddle at the horn and cantle. Put your foot in the stirrup, carefully lean over his back, talking and petting him until he gets used to your new position. And be sure to reward him from his back on each side. Slowly get down, go to the other side and repeat the exercise. Initially, you may mount your mule or donkey at the workstation. First mount horses in the round pen where there is no ceiling overhead. When he's calm with this exercise, take him to the round pen and continue his training. Choose the type of saddle in which you feel most secure. Have an assistant stand quietly at the equine's head, but not actually hold him. You have control with your reins. Your assistant will stand by for safety. Ask your equine to stand quietly with soothing verbal communication. Grasp the saddle at the horn and cantle, and then boost yourself into a standing position at his side with your foot in the stirrup. If he spooks or bolts, let go of the saddle but maintain your hold on the left rein so you don't lose him. Quietly and firmly, ask him to whoa, and then try again. When he finally stands still, reward him lavishly and then put him away. Next time, hang off the saddle on the near side and run your hands all over the far side of his body. Do this on both sides. Add swinging your leg over his back. Stay low with your upper body, leaning forward and offer the oats reward from each side. Dismount on the opposite side from which you mounted each time. When you mount, drag your right leg firmly against his body. Move your leg gently up his hip, over his rump, and down the other side to the stirrup. Settle slowly and quietly into the saddle. Rock your weight from side to side. Continually reassure him by firmly but gently touching him all over his body. Lean forward and ask him to take oats from your hand on both sides. The more movement he can tolerate while standing still, and the calmer he is taking the oats from your hand, the better he will do later. Do only as much of this in any one lesson as he can easily tolerate. Always try to end your lessons on a positive note and do not get in too much of a hurry. That's usually where the trouble begins. Each time you dismount, always take both of your feet out of the stirrups first. Practicing good technique will keep your equine safe and comfortable during all his lessons.